Hi there. So we are using use session hook to get session data. So in this hook, there are some limitation. So for example, let me log in to my uh, React uh, Next.js app. So once I log in, if I if I try to console.log this use session data so let me just zoom in so by default in the data's user object only email and name are there but in this video I'm gonna show you how we can add another parameter to this um, object so next auth by default doesn't allow um, other parameters in this user object so by the end of this video you will be able to add your own parameter in this user object so let's jump into the code So let's start the server. So I'm gonna open the terminal for my next JS app. And I will start the server npm run dev. And now in this browser, I will refresh this page. So while this page refreshes, I'm gonna open my components header.js where I added this use session so I'm gonna go ahead and console.log the user data now I will log in so I will open the inspector and open the console section let's log in admin admin and log in so I'm successfully logged in now and I'm gonna expand this user data and in the data in the user object by default email and name are available so that is coming from uh, pages api auth next auth dot js so even if I pass so here in the authorize function even if I pass any extra parameter it won't available in the in this session data so let me try to pass let's say token Sorry. let me add some random string and now if I log out and log in again and if we check the user object so even if we pass the token from here it won't available by default so now we are going to pass extra data for example i'm gonna pass jwt token so that i can use all over the site 
so how do we do that so first of all we have to use next auth callback option so if we go to configuration callbacks and we have to use this callbacks inside this next auth dot this so callbacks are asynchronous function so that you can control what happens when a particular action is performed so i'm gonna use this callbacks so um here i will close the providers and run add callbacks inside that callbacks first we have to use jwt callback so i'm gonna copy this whole section over here pass it like this now if we get account then we will return token and inside token we will pass access token now before passing access token here I'm gonna pass the actual token user dot token because from our API we get um, token inside this token parameter so once oh sorry this is also token so whatever we use over here that we have to use over here so now our token is sorry this we have to use like this okay so that's that after JWT we have to use the session callback so this will actually pass the parameter to our use session so from auth function to JWT and from JWT to session so I will remove this and I will again check if token available then Session dot access token equal to token of access token <coughs> and return session. Now let's try to check. So we are already unauthenticated. Let's log in and I will try to log in. So we are now logged in now if I check the data still we are not getting our parameter why a few moments later so we pass this token over here and then from from here we pass it through the token over here and then from here to session that is what it is written over here okay I think I made this mistake okay I am going to check this okay yeah. so it should be like this now 
let's try log out and log in again now let's try to check okay still we are not getting this so something is wrong so i'll go back over here in this callback okay here in the example we get this many arguments so let's try to use that and for session there are only three so let's keep it as it is so here i will check if user is there and then we will pass the user token into access token and then this token of access token i will pass in the session token so now let's try to check so for that i will log out and log in okay i got this uh, out of outside outside the user so in order to add this into the user i will just use session dot user dot access token so now it started appearing inside user so yeah this is how you can pass your own argument uh, using callbacks so yeah my mistake was i was not using the proper arguments well actually that was the fault i am not sure if the fault or maybe i missed some instruction from this documentation but then i use this arguments from the jwt function and yeah i was able to pass the token inside the inside the use session so yeah this is how you can get your own data inside your session data from the next dot so if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video guys